Former state Senator Carlos Uresti sentenced to five more years in prison today. It's a story we first broke online as soon as that verdict was handed down this afternoon. This sentence will run at the same time as the 12-year sentence he was handed last year on a money laundering and fraud case. Our Joe Galley was in the courtroom today. He spoke with Uresti right after the verdict. Joe? Delane, I talked to Carlos Uresti on the steps of the courthouse just a couple of hours ago. He told me that his heart is full of guilt and regret, and he's looking forward to starting a new chapter in his life, even though that chapter will begin behind bars. Mr. Uresti, what are your thoughts as you head into the courthouse today? Well, um, I've accepted responsibility. I'm ready to, to move forward. Carlos Uresti arrives to federal court feeling repentant, a statement he echoed to Judge David Ezra during his sentencing hearing. As a part of a plea deal, he got five years for allegedly bribing a judge in Reeves County. He'll also have to pay $876,000 in restitution. Uresti has already been sentenced to 12 years in federal prison for his role in the Four Winds Ponzi scheme. For the past year, he's been out on bond. I understand that this is a... That it, uh, a very difficult chapter in my life, but uh, I've learned from it and I vow never to, to make those same mistakes again. Federal authorities say they're satisfied with the outcome. I think we have demonstrated that here in San Antonio, that we can hold our leaders accountable and that no citizen, no matter who they are, no matter how poor, how rich, they can get justice. Uresti says during his time behind bars, he's going to try to educate and rehabilitate himself and others who have gone down the wrong path. People will learn from my mistakes and, and hopefully I can teach them from the good things and the bad things that I've learned as well. Uresti will be spending the next seven days with friends and family before surrendering to U.S. Marshals. Uresti has until Tuesday at 2 o'clock to surrender to U.S. Marshals here at the federal courthouse, and I'm told by the U.S. Attorney's Office that even if there's a government shutdown, there will be someone here to take him into custody. Back to you. All right, thanks, Joe.